Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the second Word 2007 tutorial and today I'm just going to talk a little bit about page setup, formatting, and also I'm going to touch on printing and uh, print preview options. So I'm going to jump right in. What I did, I just copied a, a small article out of here, out of Wikipedia about a river and uh, just to get some text in here and I just copied and pasted it to make two pages of document so this is a basic um, you know word file here and and of course you see different color fonts and so forth so we're gonna talk later about you know formatting the fonts and cleaning things up and so forth but for right now we we'll want to touch on page layout so you've got um, under the page layout tab here you come down here and you have several options under here to edit your document. Um, we're going to touch on themes in a later tutorial, uh, but I want to point out some basic things here. If you need to edit your margins as an example, go under Page Layout Margins, and you can see it's set to the default one inch all the way around, but you can change it. Let's say you've just gone over from one page to two pages and you want to squeeze it all on one page, you could change your margins. Uh, you know as an example here these are all the default margins or you can go down here and you can click on custom margins and bring it up and edit it um, however you would like to to adjust it okay I'm just gonna hit cancel to get out of there uh, but other options in here are orientation right now we're at a portrait orientation you can click landscape and you can see it changes it I'm gonna go back and change it to portrait you can change the size of the document if you're using um, a different size paper than the 8.5 by 11 inch. And if you're working with columns, and we're not using columns right now, but you can, you can see you can set up columns here. In this case, let's say we said 2, you notice that this column would be blank, but uh, I'm going to change it back to 1, but you can see that's a nice feature to work with if you want to have a document that has uh, different columns on it. Um, some other things, basic things here, uh, page color, if you want to change the color of your page, you can see it's changing as I highlight over them. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and not change it right now. And then of course you can put a border here too. We can put, you can choose shadow as an example, and then you can put the style. You could put down, uh, you know, just choose one of these, and then you can choose the width of it and so forth. We'll make it a little bit bigger here and say OK as an option. You can see what it did. It made a nice border around the document. Okay, so those are just a couple things you can do. Spacing, uh, it's left on automatic right now, but you can certainly change that to whatever um, settings you would like, right? I'm going to leave it back to the default. Um, and then indents, we'll work on that a little bit on another tutorial. So now I want to touch base on printing. So if you're going to print uh, what you do, you go into the Microsoft Office button, go to print, and you can you can um, choose your printer. Right here I have my Canon chosen, but if you have a different printer you just hit the pull down there. Choose the number of copies, click OK, and there's some different options here. You can go under the Options button here, and there's a whole list of options. We're not going to go through all those right now. Uh, and then uh, another thing I want to show you is under the office button if you go under print you can you should go under even if it's just a one page document it's a good thing to do is just always go in and do a print preview and you can see it it shows you what the document would look like a lot of those page setup options that we just went through are in here in the in the print preview so for example margins are here same options, orientation, if I want to change it to landscape, I change it like that, I can change the size. If I want to look at what the two pages look like, I can click two pages here and you can see it, it shows them both. I'm going to go back to one. And then if I want to print, I just hit the print button. If, uh, if I want to um, close out of here and go back and work more in the document, I can just hit close print preview. And then the final thing I can do with print is I can just do print and then do quick print and that doesn't do anything that it just sends it to the default printer with no changes so those are the main things I wanted to share with you uh, tonight I appreciate you joining and please subscribe thanks a lot take care